try and test Gridley. Nice sharp opening from the star man and current champion. Very precise. Superb timing already early in round one. Warmed up well. Big roundhouse from Kendall. But Gridley takes it and then pushes forward. Both men standing in Southpaw stance. Southpaw against Southpaw. Sweep attempt by Kendall. And they step back once more. Big left hand attempt, but nicely swerved by Gridley. The champion saw that coming. But it shows that Kendall is dangerous. And away they go again. Nice footwork from the champion as the challenger comes in. Axe kick, trademark of his. You throw it from anywhere. Kendall needs to be more authoritative if he comes in. As Gridley will look to counter. Sharp right uppercut just missed. Good side kick though. Catching his man as he comes in, the champion. Kendall pushing forward but not getting through cleanly. The champion happy to counter on the back foot. Again, Kendall looking to close the ground. But when he gets there, he needs to work. Missing with that big left hand. Didn't set it up with the right jab from the southpaw stance. Nice combination there from the champion. Just beginning to find his range. Comfortable opening, and you've got to go with the red corner on the champion on that one. Second of potential five. I had the champion comfortably taking the first. And a beautiful right leg round as snaps as the challenger comes in. He gets the count, timing to perfection. Doubled the impact by timing it just right. Leaves the challenger with a mountain to climb now early in the fight. The champion's footwork and timing is the key in this fight. Challenger doing the right thing, trying to hustle him out of his stride, but he's having none of it. And there's the kicks are on about. This one didn't work, but it won't put him off doing it again. And next time it could. He's already caught him flush with a superb roundhouse. And again, that jab comes out nicely, catches man on the way in. The problem for Kendall is he's right. You've got to come in and take the title from a champion. But as he comes in, he's picked off in some style. Like that, the timing of the champion in his defence is something that Kendall has not been able to come to terms with yet. And the referee will break them here. So the problem for Kendall is you've got to force the pace, you've got to take the title from the champion, but he is so switched on in defence here. And then he suddenly turns it to attack, as you saw there. Five 
And away they go again. And again, it's that timing from the champion. That's the difference between the two men and the foot movement. Put the two together, and it's been a real problem for the challenger, Craig Kendall. Another good round for the champion. Third of a potential five, and the champion fighting well within himself in this title defence. Craig Kendall doing the right thing, coming in, trying to work his man, trying to hash them out with stride. The problem for him is it's just not happening. He's not able to do it. The champion has picked his shot, chosen them exceptionally well. And caught him as he comes in and moves. Hits and moves at the same time, making him hard to tag in defence. And there's that roundhouse from Gridley that was so successful in the second and the champion almost landed it flush again in the third. Good side kick as the challenger comes in again. And again, it's the timing in defence that turns defence into attack that is puzzling the challenger. Suddenly he's on the attack but forced into defence from sweet work from the champion. Nice right hand there from the challenger. The first effective shot from him in this fight so far. And again, a bit low that one, champion just trying to work it off, he felt that, but I think he'll continue quite quickly, he's already saying he's shaking it off, and away they go again. Oh, and the axe attempt, it was a slip, but only just, that was close to landing cleanly. And that right leg does again, followed by the right hand. It's a good finish to another good round from the champion. So, four of five, and the champion has dominated without really needing to go into an upper gear here. We know what he's capable of, but he's fought a clever game, letting his challenger come on and pick him off on the way in, just like that. Very frustrating night for Craig Kendall. He's been game, he's had the right game plan. He just hasn't been able to execute it because of the champion's timing and movement. Which suddenly turns defence into a solid attack. And again the challenger trying to step up in the fourth. But he's met with more of the same. Like that good round out to the midsection from the champion. moment a textbook defense of his title so far from the champion and again oh he felt that one again as well fine it's the pain that hurts and again he shrugs it off and continues to dominate this fight as you saw there changing the angle of the kick and looking to turn defense into attack Right hand lands short from Kendall, as does the roundhouse for this time from the champion. Kendall trying to force the issue, he needs to. He needs to hurt the champion to get any mileage out of this fight whatsoever. And it hasn't happened yet. And again, the champion turns defence into attack with a nice short right hand. As I said, Kendall's doing the right thing. He's just meeting a man who knows how to deal with this sort of attack. Again, comfortable round for the champion with one to go. So here we go, fifth and final. 
and the challenger needs a knockout. He's lost all four rounds on my card. And he really needs to go for broke against the champion here. But you've got the champion now all fired up for a big finish for his fans. He's boxed well within himself tonight. Done exactly what was needed to frustrate his opponent, to catch him clean on the counter. And now he's putting up a grandstand finish for his fans here in the fifth. Tucking up and there's that roundhouse again, stops his man in his tracks. Nice movement, nice shot, stops his man dead. And again, looking to entertain here in the last of a comprehensive points victory. Nice right hand as the challenger comes in. Challenger going for broke, he has to, he really has to let the leather fly and hope to land one cleanly that stops this fight. Because if it goes to points, there's only one man in it. So the clock's ticking down, left hand lands from the challenger, needed to be far more cleanly as the champion can stand the clock now. And it will be a clean five round shutout if it stays this way. Comprehensive defence of his title. So there you have it. Five rounds clean, and it's fitting that the last shot landed was the left hand of the champion, because this is a five-round shutout and defence of his title. Let's hear it once again for both young men in this title <laughs> But we do have a unanimous decision, and still the 